I have a problem with my channel. It seems like nobody can find my channel on YouTube. I finally might have a fix for that. <laughs> Rebranding my channel through machine learning. Okay, so before we begin, I want to mention that I have a channel update in the later half of this video. So if you're not interested in the machine learning part, you can straight away skip to that if you want. I want to talk about my relationship with YouTube analytics and analytics in general. So by profession, I have to deal with numbers a lot and I have to analyze a lot of things and I do not want to include that for other parts of my life. I have been very hesitant getting into YouTube analytics and SEO and stuff like that and everything that people usually do to make the most out of their YouTube videos and make it reach most number of people in a very numerical sort of a way which is not bad I do that for a living but uh, I don't want to do that now I still don't know much about the SEO part but I thought it wouldn't hurt to rename my channel and I thought it would make such a sick video to have an AI or a machine name my channel that would make for such a sick video concept rebranding my channel through AI that's what you're watching why okay so I have this concept in my head in October and I start working on it, I start looking at a few things, and then this happens. So YouTube starts showing my channel at the top. And I figured that, okay, even though I wasn't full-heartedly committed to this, I was still, at least that was a motive that I had to make this video in the first place. So I stopped working on this video and then it was on the shelf for a long time. And then this happened. And then this happened again. I have no idea what is happening with YouTube and its search optimization. But to be fair, as somebody who has made a 25 minute rant video on YouTube, I expect no less. <laughs> so anyway, I start researching again and I find this incredible GitHub repository. And let me explain to you very briefly how this works. At the core of this machine learning model is a scraper program, which scrapes the entire internet to look for domains and its meta context. The meta context is usually like a slogan for a website. So let's take an example of YouTube.com. YouTube.com is obviously the domain name and its meta context is something like enjoy the videos and music you love, upload original content and share it all with friends, family and the world on YouTube. So what we usually do is that we collect this domain name and its meta context into a file and then we do that for each of the domains that we have scraped through. This forms our database. Now this database is then used to train our GPT-2 model, which we then use to make predictions. Now, in order to make predictions, all you have to do is put in a prompt. So suppose you put in a prompt that, hey, I want a brand name, which helps me connect with friends. So it will automatically suggest you something similar to like facebook.com. That's how this model is supposed to work when functioning properly and trained properly. Now this is all very good, in fact too good for me. I want something which is not so proper. So I decided that instead of making it scrape the entire internet, I would just make it scrape the Urban Dictionary website. Now if you're not familiar with Urban Dictionary, where have you been? For me, it's personally the peak of the internet period. Basically you have some words either from pop culture or just from figments of somebody's brain and you have some very, very quirky meanings. Did I just say quirky and not mean it ironically? Oh God. So it has some very interesting words and their apparent meanings. So how I customized my metadata was by making the word itself the domain name by just adding a .com in front of it and the definition of it as the metadata that will be used to key our prompts. When I was making this, I thought I had cracked something and then things went bad, pretty bad. I'm in a bit of a difficult situation. I made this AI so that I can rebrand my channel, but this AI has been ridiculously adamant at roasting me. I'm guessing uh, using Urban Dictionary was not one of the brightest moments uh, in my life, uh, amongst many others. Now I'm roasting me as well. Well done. Let me just explain what's happening. Basically, it's not trained very well. <laughs> and the problem with that is that I cannot give very complex cues because what it does then is that it just omits the rest of the cues, fixates on a word and then gives unpredictable results. Instead, what I did is that to make it more predictable, I gave it very simple cues. We get some results. So I have tried giving it some very unpredictable cues and this is what I got. Maybe I'm a Turkish girl. <laughs> I didn't know that. Also, hmm, this laptop 
has been doing so well for me over the past one and a half years. I've been doing all my programming on this and now this has finally clicked on me. So I can barely see what's happening. But on the plus side, at least I know I am not immune to epilepsy. So bring it on weekend. <laughs> yeah, I've tried screen recording it. It doesn't really work. I don't know what's the problem, but for now, at least it's showing stuff. So I thought maybe the cues could be something that I do, something that defines me and my personality. So let's say my first cue is I do not have any friends. <laughs> and then if you run this, larpis.com. Let's go to Urban Dictionary. Larpis, a pretty cool dude, <laughs> but somehow has no friends. Let's try, uh, I like keeping things because of their sentimental value. Sentimentalretardation.com <laughs> The need to keep tons of things for sentimental reasons. The inability to get rid of anything usually involves the need to rent storage lockers because every room in the house and basement is already filled with sentimental knickknacks and memorabilia. I don't like how. Okay, let's try a couple more. What else? I like apple products idiot.com i like to procrastinate is that the spelling well it is now diddle shit that can't be great to waste time goof off or procrastinate this was not that offensive did i just admit that being called shit was not offensive okay i need to do better in 2022 yeah i didn't like this <laughs> i did not like this can you hear me yeah, let's get on with the video. That was fun. Well, but jokes apart, I never really cared for the SEO. If you hadn't got that yet. As much as I don't like myself for being such a snob for not caring about it. I mean, it's such a simple thing that, that can really push my channel much further than what it is right now. Somehow I have this distinction in my head that this is supposed to be the way it is. And I don't know, I kind of don't want to challenge that. I'm 27 and I don't have the energy to challenge myself in everything that I do. <laughs> That's the saddest thing that I've said today. <laughs> Jeez. Like I mentioned before, I thought this would be, this video would be a good motive for me to talk about a very important thing that I have been planning since uh, July, I would say. Uh, well, to be fair, much before that. I don't think a lot of you would know this, but when I started this channel back in 2016, it was called Alt Infinity. Now back then it was just a name that I used once while playing a computer game and I just thought that it was very cool thing to do to name your YouTube channel on the name or your alias that you use in your computer games. And that kind of stuck. During those times, I had like five subscribers, 10 subscribers, 30 subscribers until very recently, 2020, February. And I would post something like a movie or a short film every six months. And it would be such a, you know, a cozy environment, such a comforting environment, because I knew everybody who had subscribed to me and they would very, very wholeheartedly appreciate whatever I did. And it was a very rewarding experience in that sense, even though the number was not up to scale for a lot of people but there's just this very comforting and nostalgic thing associated with the name alt infinity well at least for me but i sort of knew that if i had to make short films youtube was probably not the right place so i decided that in february 2020 that i'll be posting regular content and i'll change my name from alt infinity to Animesh, which is my first name. And that came from a place when I saw a lot of people that I looked up to who made content like Casey Neistat, Cody Gold, Johnny Harris using the same format, their name as their channel name. And since February 2020 till December 2021, we have 600 subscribers now, which is still a little hard for me to believe. But I feel like in the process of making constant videos, and by constant, I mean like regular than six months and upload. I have lost or I have sort of outgrown the person that I was when I was restarting this channel in 2020. So I started posting regularly because I wanted this to be an extension of my thought. I wanted to make videos which would be a container or a placeholder for everything that I was thinking about in a very entertaining and a very dramatic sort of a way. Something that really represents who I am. And I wanted to talk about the stories that I've had. I wanted to talk about the experiences that I have, the experiments that I'm currently doing. And I feel that probably now is the right time to take it to the next step, which is actually two steps back. <laughs> take one. So come this February, I am rerunning my channel back to Alt Infinity. And not because it's a very comforting place for me from inside my head, but because this is my first step towards starting a production company. Alt Infinity Productions.
outside of this YouTube channel, I will be working on short films, I'll be working on documentaries and some more projects that I would like to talk about a little later. Oh, and by the way, we have a team. Uh, we have a team at our production house. It's, it's very small, it's only three people. <laughs> I think you're probably aware of my brother's channel. He makes comedy videos. If you haven't watched it, you should go and give it a try. And we work together on the YouTube part of Alt Infinity Productions. Then we have Akanksha. We have been friends since 2004. We were in the same school together. And uh, I think we have watched so many movies and we have so much like in common in terms of like uh, the kind of movies that we want to make uh, and the kind of movie that we watch. Well, it's a direct parallel from that, that we work together on the more uh, short films and documentary style work that we are going to produce in the next few months next probably in the next year or so so we have uh, these two sections uh, the youtube section and the film production and the short film like documentary production section unfortunately i won't be posting much short films and documentaries on this particular channel but if you want to watch you can go to our website altinfinity.com as far as this channel is concerned, I'm rebranding it because I want to get into a new format of creating content. So like I mentioned before, until now, this channel has been mostly about my thoughts, my experiments, my experiences, and I want to take it to the next step by collaborating with a lot more people, bringing in a lot more people into this channel, sharing their experiences, their experiments and their thoughts. So by doing this, I can venture into a lot more genres. I can tackle a lot more concepts that I'm not aware of myself, but I can bring in experts. I can bring in people who have experimented in that field and help them communicate through this platform. So I have this very strong notion about people learning things, people learning new concepts, tackling new curiosities. I think that's one of the better ways to make yourself grow as a person. And my channel until now has been an effort to bring in interesting topics topics been bring in interesting concepts that can help pique your curiosity into sometimes useless things sometimes things that can actually matter and that is going to continue to happen even with alt infinity i'll make sure of that but like i said i wanted to change the format a little bit and i'll do that by introducing new shows on this platform so i'll be introducing two new shows coming this february the first one is called the breakdown now, if you've watched my channel, you already have seen episodes of Breakdown, like my latest episode about Formula One. So you can expect very similar episodes in this series, The Breakdown, just with a lot more variety in the topics that I choose to cover. Second series is called Rewired. All the AI thing that I do, all the experiments that I do, everything that I take and I conduct an experiment on it and then I document it, that's gonna be part of Rewired. So like I wrote a poetry book with the help of NAI. I, I conducted an experiment, I made something, I documented it and then I presented it to you. So things like these, concepts like these will be covered in the series Rewired. As you can see, things will still be the same or like similar. I just hope that by bringing in more experiences, by bringing in more people, it'll be better than what it was before. All right. That's it, that's all that I had to say. Oh, by the way, it starts in February, not right now, because I'm taking part in the KC Neistat filmmaking course and I'll be making two videos about that in January itself. So I'll be rebranding my channel in February. And if you want to watch those two videos, uh, it'll be there on the channel itself. But if you wanna skip it, skip it, it's perfectly fine, I don't mind. But I hope that when Alt Infinity starts in February, you'll be still here <laughs> and you'll be still watching and perhaps expand into more shows more people and bring you more content that's it that's all that i wanted to say thank you so much for sitting through all of this uh, and if you've been watching until the very end please let me know i don't know how many people watch until this very end and i usually like to keep the narrative very very typical so i keep the good things until the very end uh, maybe it's not suitable for youtube but anyway uh thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one <laughs>
I'm starting a production company. That is brilliant. By the way, please let me know how you like the website. Uh, this is the first time that I'm making a website. I don't know how it like how it turned out to be. One day I'm at the top, one day I'm not. This is not very well for my social anxiety or anxiety in general. Why? No, it doesn't have to do anything with anxiety. I'm just very anxious about social things. Okay. And there's more information on the website. We'll be updating it very regularly and we'll be putting in our films, we'll be putting in our documentaries. Everything that we make, which is not on YouTube, will be there on the website itself. Altinfinity.com. For me, it's personally the peak of the internet. It's such a random comedy, which I aspire for. Unfortunately, I can't, I'm not very good at it, but I aspire for it. That's what we are, aspirants. And if you're in Helsinki, if you want production services, you can contact me at animesh at the rate altinfinity.com. It'll be here on the screen and also in the description below. Even if you want to just say hi, I don't really mind. Will I say hi back? Uh, I don't trust myself for that. I need help. Okay.